So I've been able to accomplish a lot in my business because I've learned to work and create even when I don't feel like it. Now, I've also learned a very important uh, lesson on the other side of things, which is to rest even when I don't feel like it. Now, this, is, this might sound strange because usually we work until we're tired and then we rest, right? And in my experience, when I'm feeling really tired, I've, I've rested too late. So I've learned that to be able to maintain a real joyful productivity, I need to rest on a regular rhythm, even when I don't feel like it, just like I work on a regular rhythm, even when I don't feel like it. And I've said this many times, if you've watched my videos, you know that I never feel like making these videos. Um, I didn't feel like making this one when I, when I started, but I had a schedule uh, and I'd like to follow my schedule because I, I get a lot of things done that uh, other people might you know, be delaying, procrastinating. Oh, I don't feel like it. I'll do it later. No, I just get it done. And every time I get it done, I learn something. I grow. I feel proud of it. And that's when I know I'm growing. But the same thing with rest. It's like a lot of people I notice they, they work to exhaustion and then rest, work to exhaustion and then rest. And I don't think that's a very sustainable way of operating with, with ourselves because um, by the time you're exhausted, uh, you should have rested sooner uh, because you're creating the possibility of burnout sooner in your career. And I have burned out, I, have, I think I've burned out several times or at least almost burned out. Um, and burnout is, is really a, a, a hard experience. It's, um, there's no emotional motivation. Um, you know, there's obviously physical tiredness. Uh, there might even be repetitive, repetitive stress injury in the arms or the hands or the, or the wrists um, or in the back or the neck, shoulders. There's just, you know, and lack of hope, lack of creativity for uh, days or weeks or months on end. So it's something that I, I, I wish on nobody. And I hope that by watching this video, by thinking about your own pattern of rest, that you will prevent burnout for yourself or to prevent burnout again and to find more regular energy to be able to, to do your work. So I wanna share with you the ways uh, that I rest and hopefully um, this will give you some, some ideas for it to, to start habituating, make, creating habits in your own work rhythm as well. So uh, I'll start with something I do multiple times every hour. Yes, every working hour I spend, I, I do this multiple times. I, I take what I call a micro break, which is a 30 second break every 15 to 20 minutes, sometimes even every five to 10 minutes. I mean, I really don't mind doing it as often as I remember it, but at least I try to do it every 20 minutes. And I've been doing this now for just a few months and it's been amazing. It's been really good. And I also remember this was how I got over, this was one of the key ways I got over repetitive stress injury um, uh, a couple years ago is by forcing myself to take more micro breaks. So here's what I do for 30 seconds in my micro break. Like I said, um, I do this every 15 to 20 minutes and sometimes even five to 10 minutes, however often as I want to. So what I do on a micro break is I take my hands off the keyboard and then I drop my hands I just drop my hands to my sides, drop my hands and arms to my sides, let it rest there. And while I'm doing that, I'm breathing gently and deeply. And while I'm breathing and resting my arms and hands, what's going on in my head is I'm thanking God. Now, choose your eternal source, but I, I say God. I thank God for having brought me to this point of my work. God has brought me through so, so, much, so much in my life and has brought you as well. Your, your eternal source has brought you through so much in your life. All the, the trauma, the challenges, the emotional highs and downs and, and all the difficulties, problems. You're here. I'm here. So I thank God for having brought me through all of that. Uh, all the creativity I've done. Seems, I often wonder, you know, when I start writing a blog post, I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna write anything. It's a blank screen. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to write. I don't think it's gonna be good. 
And then by the end of the hour, of course, as I make myself right or just, just let it free flow and just, just try, just try, you know, without any strictness, I just try. Somehow it all comes, it all comes together. So I thank God, like I said, part of it, I thank God for bringing me here to this moment. And I also thank God that uh, I'm going to be brought through everything else, everything else in my life. I'm, I'm going to be brought through just fine. And that there's always, I mind, there's always this moment of checking in and, and being grateful and trusting. So that's part of my micro break. Um, I also breathe. I do my quick energy reboot. So I, I, I do the thanks and trust. And then I do my quick energy reboot, breathing in love, breathing out. And I think total security. I breathe in wisdom. That's always around. And breathing thanks. So that, okay. So thus far, about you know 20 seconds have gone by <laughs> if i didn't do that explanation and then i open my eyes i look in the distance i'm grateful to work right next to a window so i look in the distance if you can look you know if you need to look behind you or whatever to the other side of the room to rest your eyes a little bit so you're not always so focused so i look in the distance for a moment while i stretch and yawn or sigh and then the last, very last thing I do is I remind myself when my next micro break is. So what, what the next 15 or 20 minutes, I'll say, okay, at this time, I'm going to take another micro break. So setting that intention. So that's my micro break. And I do this, like I said, it takes 30 seconds. You can time it if you actually try it out. Um, and every 15 to 20 minutes while during my working, working hours. Now, of course, once I'm done working, if I'm just you know, having dinner, spending time with my wife or whatever. I don't do these micro breaks, but it's only during the work day that I do it because I'm at the computer so much. Okay. So one is micro breaks. I think it's the most important thing. It prevents us from carpal tunnel, repetitive stress, etc. cetera. Um, the next thing I want to mention is my midday breaks, my midday breaks. And these are, I, I, I never work for more than two hours at a time. I usually work for an hour and a half, sometimes two hours. And of course, during the hour and a half and two hours, I'm taking multiple micro breaks. But anyway, 15, uh, half an hour, hour and a half to two hours of, of work stretch um, before I take a long break. And my long breaks, my midday breaks happen uh, usually either 30 minutes long, which would mean snack and quick nap. And during my naps, I usually don't fall asleep. I just lay down, relax, rest for 15 minutes. And it's so helpful just even if I don't fall asleep, okay? So a uh, half an hour of, of, of break, or sometimes up to two hours breaks, uh, several times in my day I have two hour breaks where I you know, maybe eat my lunch or, or eat my breakfast and take a nap, go uh, on a dog walk, maybe run a quick errand at the post office or something like that. So I only work an hour and a half to two hours before a long break, which is usually two hours long, but sometimes it's only half an hour, depending on what's, what's in my schedule. So, but I take at least two two-hour breaks each day. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I take three, oh, no, that's right, I take two two-hour breaks um, each day, mid-morning and then mid-afternoon. Um, but I take another half hour to one hour at lunch, and then I take um, another one earlier in the morning, you know, after an hour of work. So anyway, midday breaks I think are really important. So thus far I've covered micro breaks, 30 seconds every 15 to 20 minutes, and then a midday break, which is 30 minutes, two hours, every hour and a half to two hours of work. And then, of course, there's the evening break, which all of us take, which is called sleeping. But it is so important, so important to understand how much sleep you need to feel fine the next day. For me, it's at least seven and a half hours. If I can get eight and a half, that's great. But seven and a half, I'll be fine the next day. So seven and a half hours of laying in bed, relaxing, eyes closed, not eyes open, eyes closed, even if I'm not asleep. So I've been an insomniac uh, much of my life. And, uh, you know, thankfully, I've practiced and learned how to, how to sleep. So I'm usually asleep for much of the seven and a half hours, but there can be minutes or even a few hours at a time when I'm awake in bed, but, I, but I've practiced. I've practiced keeping my eyes closed, breathing gently, relaxing, slowing my thoughts, and, and thinking good thoughts instead of planning the next day or thinking how I could have solved this problem or whatever. Thinking good thoughts of love and thanks, slowing the thoughts, breathing gently, and then usually I drift off to sleep. But even if I'm doing that 
for, and I sometimes have to catch myself. It's like meditating in bed. I sometimes catch myself off on some tangent or some trying to solve a problem or thinking about the future or whatever, or worrying about what, no, then, oh, cap myself. Okay, now back to slowing thoughts, good thoughts, breathing, relaxing. So if, as long as I'm doing that, really, sometimes I'm in bed like that for an hour or two um, during my seven and a half hours. But if, as long as I stay in bed, eyes closed, trying, trying, I still feel fine the next day. So that's what I, important thing I've learned. Just stay in bed, okay? Relaxing, just doing your best. Um, so evening breaks are really important. Um, I also take uh, midweek breaks. Midweek breaks are Tuesday afternoon, I do a four hour break instead of a two hour break. So Tuesday afternoons, Friday afternoons uh, are really large, large breaks. Friday afternoons, I actually take most of the day, but I, I work two thirds day on Fridays. So I take the after, late afternoon and evening off but Tuesdays I do a four hour break. Um, and then uh, Sundays I don't work at all. So kind of those breaks. I actually work on Saturdays because I, I enjoy doing it. Um, Mid-year breaks, okay? So the, the last one is mid-year breaks I think are really important. That's when I take a couple days off of work or a couple weeks. You know, I have um, in February, we, uh, we go visit uh, my in-laws for Chinese New Year. So that's like a week off of work. Um, in May is my wife's birthday, so we take two weeks off, sometimes on a trip, no work. Um, in August is our anniversary, so we take a few days, no work, just a few days, even just at home, relaxing or whatever. And then November is my, you know, my, my birthday, I take a few days off work. You know, and then Christmas, uh, end of the year, two, two weeks off, no work. So like those mid-year breaks are really important. And the last thing I'll say is I've also learned to like I said, to rest when I don't feel like it, right? Rest when I don't feel like it, rest before I'm tired. Those, these breaks I'm talking about, oftentimes I still want to keep working, but I know to rest because that's how I stay balanced and energized and healthy, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And the last thing I'll say is to stay resting as I've planned to stay resting, meaning, it, for example, the, the simplest example is at night, you know, if I'm thinking about a problem, if I'm planning something, or if I have some creative idea, right, the, the instinct is to, oh my gosh, got this idea, get up, work, write, whatever. And I've learned over the years that that's a terrible idea because the next day I'm wasted, right? So I don't. Creative idea, like I have trained my mind so that my mind knows not to bother me at night. Yes, occasionally it still does, creative idea, problem solving, whatever. I just, if, I, if, I, if it's really important, I'll quickly jot a few, a few notes by my bedside, but then go right back to sleeping and, and resting. My mind, most of the time, knows to leave me alone and only give me creative ideas during the day. Some of you have trained your mind opposite. You've trained your mind to say, okay, whenever creative ideas come, get up, whatever you're doing, do the work, do the thing. And it's just, it throws life into chaos because there's no balance. It's just, you're being ruled by the whims of your emotions and, and mind thoughts, monkey mind. It's just not a balanced way and sustainable way to live. And you probably have noticed that in your own life. And maybe the income is erratic. Maybe your health is erratic or whatever it is. Mine is, as I've learned to create work, even if I don't feel like it, rest even if I don't feel like it. Once I get into it though, I'm glad, right? Once I get into it for five or 10 minutes, I'm glad to be working or I'm glad to be resting. And that's the thing. We always have to go over that initial unwillingness, uh, an initial resistance to say, okay, I remember, this is what I've learned in my life, to do it anyway, and then we're glad. And then, of course, not even are we glad, or we're proud at the end of that work session or that rest session to say, I'm so glad I rested. I'm so proud that I kept resting, even if I wanted to go work. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I hope that this will inspire you to have a more regular rhythm right? Just like if you want to go with the flow, right? This is a typical, well, but I want to go with the flow. I'm a free spirit. Do you know where go with the flow really comes from? It comes from Taoism. It's Taoist thought, right? Effortless action, you know, go, being, being in harmony with the nature. But guess what nature is? Nature is extremely disciplined. Have you noticed that? Nature is extremely patterned. The birds flock in a, in a pattern, right? The sun comes up and down, very disciplined every day. There's no I don't feel like coming up today, right? Or the earth spins in a very regular. Everything is very, very systematic and regular in nature. So if you want to go with nature, want to be in harmony with nature, why aren't you? Being a free spirit, do you know what freedom means? Freedom is not freedom from patterns 
or freedom from systems or freedom from responsibility or, or to yourself, to your health, to your future, to your purpose. Freedom is to develop the capabilities to be able to do more than you, you could do before. So freedom is actually the ability to do more than you could before and to set your own schedule. Yes, of course, right? But the freedom to do, to truly accomplish what you set, what you, what you are doing, I think that's real freedom. So anyway, go with the flow of nature, which is very disciplined, okay? And um, be in harmony. And truly effortless action is once I, just like a, before I made this video, it took some effort, right? I'm like, okay, do my energy reboot. Okay, I don't feel like making this video, but do my energy reboot. And then once I'm in, it's effortless action. Same thing when I'm writing. Okay, I don't feel like writing. I really don't feel, I don't have many ideas, but just start free, free flow writing. Just write anyway. And then it's effortless action. So that's really how we should apply Taoism and go with the flow and all that stuff. But I just wanted to throw that in there because I think it's related to this whole thing. Well, I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. Well, you're misunderstanding going with the flow. So anyway, I hope this is helpful and always open to your comments and your questions. Uh, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and look at my Facebook Live to see if there's any comments and questions. Okay. And thank you so much for joining me live, uh, Captain and Shweta, Linda and Carmel. Thanks also for uh, your comments there, uh, Carmel, and Captain and Linda, appreciate it. So, all right, rest before you think you need to. Rest on a regular rhythm and I wish you true well-being. My name is George Cow, Authentic Business Coach. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.